I reflect upon the field and the paradigm of field energetics or field consciousness. There are an infinite ways to refract the sphere. All energy moves in a system, in and out, is a binary system, left, right, a binary system. There are hexagonal systems, octagonal systems, but all energy eventually returns to a circle. Within time and within space, there are different probability fields. Probability fields are things that have happened before, things that make sense based on a certain momentum or trajectory. And one attunes to a field be it a field like this, a field like this, a field like this, or a chaos of field. One attunes to a field. And once attuned to the field, be it a myth, be it a civilization, be it a memory, be it a possibility or a probability, once one attunes to a field, there is a natural trajectory as one moves through the full circle of the field from birth to death, from backwards to forwards to backwards, when one enters a field Part of the learning is to go through the full circle. All fields ultimately deliver a truth, a beauty, a goodness. And one goes through the transits in the cycle and is released. One enters a field, one enters an energy system, one moves through the energy system and one gets stuck with attachment, with attachment to avoiding something or attachment to uh, holding on to something. One gets stuck in the greatest fears, in the greatest traumas, and in the greatest joys, the greatest hope. And then the journey continues and there is a release from the field. And another field presents itself more complex, more graceful, more beautiful, more true, more good. And one goes through the field, again, getting bound up in exaltation, in attachment to something beautiful, or in attachment to avoiding a certain pain, a certain grief that is inherent within the field. As one exits the field, one enters the liminal, one enters the beautiful unknown. One is present, perhaps resonance, the inner state of vibration plays a role in selecting the new field, the new pattern of transit, transiting the circle, transiting the sphere in painful ways with sharp angles or in graceful ways, in beautiful distinctions and separating distinctions. 
My sense is that every system, every mythology, every language, every set theory, every paradigm is a field. A field that if followed with integrity, be it mathematics, be it religious, that if followed with integrity will reveal a pattern, a pattern of transiting the sphere. And in the process of coming to know the sphere, one comes to know the self. In the process of coming to know the self, one comes to know the sphere. The distinctions between systems are their complexity, their grace, their symmetry, their balance. And with the complexity, how much of the sphere is revealed. The more complex the system, the more distinctions, the more distinctions, the more consciousness, the more consciousness, the bigger the perception of the one sphere of which we are all a part. On the intuitive and imaginal dimensions, one can enter any system, any field that one honors with integrity. To honor a system or a field with integrity is to honor the part of the psyche, the part of the self that connects with that system, that connects with that field. as one aligns and centers oneself within a given field, much like a radio frequency, the pattern within the field becomes conscious and becomes more and more predetermined as we commit some part of ourselves to the journey a relationship with another human being, a relationship with a book, a relationship with an idea, a relationship with an energy pattern. Each takes us on a journey. And wherever the field is and whatever the journey, it will lead us through the circle. Perhaps the most difficult part is seeing a jumble of many fields and not knowing which one to make real. Within this equation is a deep trust. Do we trust? the sphere, that if we commit on a path, do we trust that its outcome will always return us to the circle, will always return us to the one, to a point of going in to a wound and learning to heal the wound and learning to dance the wound and learning to release the wound and come back to the one to go into a joy, to learn to release the joy and come back to the one. Wherever we go, there we are. No journey is inherently more or less than another journey. Some are more graceful, some are more painful some we navigate with more grace, some we navigate with more fear. All of the mathematics, all of the geometries are present. 
the path that we take is dependent on the complexity of consciousness. We cannot take a journey through a 200,000 point shape or field if our paradigm, if our distinctions are stuck at six or seven. We must go on a journey that fits within our paradigm. But within each moment, within each time space, is the possibility to connect with a point on any of an infinite number of journeys following an infinite number of templates that are laid out there in the energy and the time and space like fields. We can dissolve from one journey and enter another as simply as letting go as simply as alighting on a new path. Music